Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're here in Rito Village, or just outside of Rito Village I guess you could say, with a uh, broadsword and a Hylian Shroom mysteriously right next to us. The reason for that is I started the game using a uh, Nintendo News article on my Switch, which granted me these two items for free. The idea being... <clears throat> the idea being is that you could fuse a shroom, a mushroom, to uh, a weapon. In order to create a bouncy weapon. So um, I guess we'll see how that works. So now uh, what we want to do, what I want to do at least, is head up. And I'm not sure the best way to do that. I could climb. I don't know if Ascend is really going to be very useful here, considering the shape of the village. Here's the front. Rather than just start ascending, I wanted to hit the goddess statue because I should have four of those doohickeys. The light's a blessing. You get a stamina vessel. I'm more interested in getting my stamina maxed out than more hearts right now. Just two more of those and I'll be at the max. Let's see, what's overhead? A walkway. Another way up would be to make an, another air bike. Now that I have all of those fans, I can just... What the? Okay, I did not expect to find Impa here, I have to admit. Oh, Link, we meet again. Kato and I came here to see the geoglyph. Sadly, we were thwarted by the blizzard and grounded nearby. After it finally calmed down, we made our way to this village. We plan to get on finding that geoglyph shortly. Uh. Link, I have been wondering. Have you found the geoglyph in southern Hebra yet? Oh. The map in the Forgotten Temple showed a geoglyph shaped like a castle. Yeah. We intend to investigate that geoglyph as well. Okay, but one thing at a time, I believe. There's a shrine way over there. Have I been to that one yet? What do you mean, uh? Are you surprised to see me marking something? I have not found that shrine yet. Well, that's something to go take care of. But later. Alright, let's see here. This 
is a good long ascend. Wow, okay. Cold. Better equip the Rito gear. Right then. Just a little bit further up and another ascend ought to get me as far up as I need to be. Is that a different shrine over there? It is. Okay. That's two shrines I can go investigate. Right then. If this isn't high enough to find the geoglyph, then... Well, I don't know. That'll be pretty unfair. <laughs> oh, I was about to say, what is that between those two sky islands? It's one of those rail tracks that the minecarts go through. Go over. That's one of those cherry blossom trees that uh, the Satori likes, the Lord of the Forest fellow who reveals the caves in the area. I wonder what happened to Divine Beast Vameto. It was standing here. <laughs> But now it has disappeared. Wow, I expected that rock to just drop. Okay. Geoglyph, geoglyph. Hmm. Well, this is irritating. Where could it be? There's another shrine way over there. Have I been to that one yet? Ah, can't place any more pins. That's inconvenient. Hmm. Geoglyph, hello, where are you? Well, this is irritating. Where is it? Humph. Okay. Well, this isn't working out. Hmm. Okay, if I can't see it from up here, where might it be? Ah. I will worry about that later. You know what? I'm just going to go to that shrine over there and activate it. And who knows? Maybe the... Uh, different vantage point will help. Shrine of Light nearby. Shrine Sensor, I don't know what I would do without you. Whoa. 
what's all that stuff? Huh. Well, I can fly right over it, so who cares? Lots of thorns that I might have had to burn if I hadn't, you know, come from above. Let's see if they're still here when I come back out. Temperature changes. Temperature will change depending on your location and the time of day. The loading screens go by so fast. A launching device. Oh. I see. Well. Um, you're supposed to point the other way, I suspect. Well, that was easy. <clears throat> hey, respond. Oh. Hit the wrong button. ZL. There we go. Do I have any other shields I could put them on? I do, as a matter of fact. need to push ZL, but I keep pushing L, which deactivates the power. Wow, these respond in... Okay, it makes sense that they respawn infinitely, because what if you miss, but... It seems kind of creepy that they just appear like that. You'd think there'd be some kind of you know, feeder from the ceiling, like there is for those you know, big shrine orbs. Okay. Lots of rocket shields. Uh, a launching device. Okay, hmm. Something tells me this is stupid, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> there are no bad ideas. Only ideas that can go horribly wrong. I'm just gluing them together briefly so that I can get both of them in here easily. Okay, <clears throat> this will either go perfectly or horribly. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, I said it would go perfectly or horribly. 
it actually went both. <laughs> mine cart over here attach the rockets to it and then blast off <laughs> um yeah okay there's the uh, treasure chest Okay. <laughs> Let's just, you know, fly across. Why bother with that weird rocket thing over there? Are no bad ideas. There are some ideas that aren't good, but they are not bad. I mean, hey, if you can fling yourself over the shrine puzzle with nothing but a banana, then, you know, these guys don't care. Me, I use two rockets. So, a bit more than just a banana. Right then. How far away is, can you see the geoglyph, I wonder? I mean, do you have to be fairly close to it before it becomes visible? be pretty close to the geoglyph before it's visible or can you see it from a good distance oh more rockets oh what do you know might as well get some more eh why not after all I want to know what's is that the light dragon Yes, it is. I'm still curious about that. I want to fly up on top of it and see what there is to find. Anyway, so what's on top of this pillar? Oh. And the answer is... A Zonite Shield. Okay. Now then, what to do? Where is that blasted geoglyph? And how can I find it? Hmm. I have another idea. Let's shoot ourselves out of the Skyview Tower. Maybe that will lead us to it. Da, 
Da -da. Here we are. So the tower itself is not higher than the Rito Village Rock, but shooting ourselves up out of it will get us quite a bit higher. Here's a series of islands that leads to the... Um, going to say the series of islands that lead to the wind temple. Oh, what's that dragon down there? Oh dear, there's a construct. A flux construct. the light dragon still going fairly close to the wind temple it looks like oh that was close I was about to fall a balloon Been to that? No, I haven't. Okay. Yeah, flux construct. Is it a number three? No, it's just number one. I'm tempted to go down and take him out, but eh, honestly, I have better things to do right now. Get us up. Thank you very much. Do 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 do. Up we go into the wild blue yonder. Enough, thank you. Okay, first of, cor of course, we have to try out the gotcha machine. It's like a requirement. That's everything. Okay. This is a bigger island than we usually find in this configuration. Okay, at least we don't have to go find the uh, shrine stone. Now, what have we here? Critical hits. Hitting an enemy in the head with an arrow causes double damage. More than defense. That, um... That doesn't sound good. 
What is that? What is that? Looks like he has a flame emitter shield. Hmm. block? Yeah, I think it is. Don't I have a flame emitter shield? I do. Hmm. Can I fuse that to anything? I can. Let's fuse it to this. An icy spear. That shield. Trying to blind him so that I could do a sneak strike. There we go. And now this. Arrows, okay. There's another construct over there. There are a lot there are some rockets in there. That's what I was trying to do before. Didn't need to do it because I one-shot him. Okay. 
I guess I could go get that slab that I used to block the fire, attach a bunch of rockets to it, and just shoot up on that. But, eh, why bother? That seems like the hard way. then. Skip this. And then skip this. There we go. Now, this has been fun and all, but I still haven't found the geoglyph. Not too sure where it is. just noticed from the temperature gauge it's really cold up here. It's a good thing I'm wearing the Rito gear. So what's all this I wonder? Looks like some kind of spring. <laughs> Are those hardy bass? Have I really not gotten a picture of those yet? Hmm. The water doesn't look really chilly. Yeah, even though the uh, area is really cold, the water itself is warm enough to swim in without taking damage. Odd, but eh, I won't complain. Hmm. Now that's even more interesting. A stone slab that I could probably lift up which would drain these things out, perhaps? Huh, a balloon, okay. I wonder, do I want to drain out the water? Why would I want to drain out the water? Hmm. I mean, I could, but I'm not sure I see the reason why. Whoa, didn't want to drop in the water. Flame emitter, alrighty. decrepit looking board that could no doubt be used for a machine if I wanted to, but yeah, I don't really see any point to that. Hmm. Yeah. Am 
might be something interesting up there, but... Well, can't think of any particular reason to go check, aside from simple curiosity. <sighs> well, this has all been very fascinating, but it hasn't gotten me any closer to finding the geoglyph. Hmm. Yeah, it seems that getting h higher up in the sky no matter how good a vantage point it is, is not actually helping me. That's rather irritating. For a moment there, I thought that was a weird sh shaded cloud in my view, but no. Just that flower. Hmm. <clears throat> I wonder if I'm barking up the wrong tree here. According to Impa and Kato, the map in the Forgotten Temple indicated that it was near to Rito Village. That could mean almost anything. way to get there. Oh, darn it. You know, I try to walk away from this turn style and he starts turning it some more instead of, you know, walking away from it. treasure chest. Old map. Huh. Okay, I'll admit that was definitely worth checking out. And that's an area that I've been to. Or at least close to an area I've been to. up here no, it doesn't look like it not even a flower or anything that I could pick hmm there's that there's that star-shaped island I've seen a few of those around but I've never been to one yet Almost there.
Esh with ancient Hylian text, you cannot read it. <sighs> really? Well, that's irritating. Hmm. Okay, well. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually, but for now, it was kind of pointless to come here. Ah. <sighs> Well, I'm irritated. I haven't been able to find the geoglyph. But it should have been near Torito Village. Well, that being the case, let's head on back. Suddenly, I'm not so sure. Boy, these are some sophisticated looking sky islands. How do I get to them? Oh, I recognize this place. Mm. You know what? Never mind. Let's not focus on that right now. Okay. Let's go back here. And try a little bit closer to Rito Village. using your little hiding space here to get up. Boy, this is an awkward place to come up. Okay. Do you two have anything to say? We found the geoglyph in southern Heber yet. Hmm. Southern Heber. Okay, that's Tabantha. So... Heber is like around here-ish. And she specifically said Southern Hebra. So that would mean like here-ish. So I'm going to investigate over here to begin with. Here comes the inspector. Are you the inspector or do you mean me? Hey there, mister. Here to see what's going on in Rito Village? I'm still helping out around the village by checking for stuff that got damaged in the snow. There's never a dull moment. Work hard. <laughs> Meanwhile, I will be heading up. All the way to the top, it would appear. Wow. Okay, now let's see, I wanted to go over there-ish. Yeah, like that direction. 
puzzle down there. This looks like Satori's tree. Donk donk, huh? Is that the shrine this way? to go that direction eventually, but... Marks all the caves in the region. Enjoy the apple. I have more than a hundred of them. there. Oh, really close. the geoglyph will be back here. a weird shape. Well, come on, shoot him. What are you waiting for? Ah, fine, I'll do it. Geoglyph on Southern Hebra. Can't be too far away. Huck. 
flight range. Alright. Don't really want to find the flight range, but... Hmm... That's the direction to go. A moose. No, not that. Don't want to blow him up. Some good meat. I was wondering, random rock just lying on the mountainside like that. Shrine is? Oh, that's a root. Okay, a tree root. Aha! Indeed, the shrine. Wow, us. Interesting name. Geoglyph is on top of the mountain that I'm underneath right now. I'll ascend up there from in here and see. Lever power. Okay, I think I see what's supposed to be done here. I put that there. And then drop this. Oh. You dumb thing. Now maybe it won't roll. 
I do not want to attach it. And now... Yeah, those are the kinds of dispensers I expected for the rockets in the previous shrine. Where does this ladder go? Now I've got a longer lever. And by putting it there... seems to have fallen off. Oh, darn it. Ah. I didn't want to attach it. That should do it. Well, that didn't work. Maybe I got this backwards? Come on, get off. There we go. Um, put the uh, weight on the end first. Like so. Go ahead and attach that. Drop the ball into it. I think I have this backwards. Yeah. Completely backwards. 
There we go. Hmm. Okay, move it in again, I guess. No, I said move it in, I guess. purpose and I get to have some fun now whoa did I find the treasure chest I don't remember now I did not, because there it is, right over there. The elixir, huh? Hmm. Oh, okay. I'm on top of the dispensers. That's what's. That's what this is. Okay, we're done here. Skip. Get another stamina uh, vessel. Oh, 
and turn the correct direction. Interesting that they would have this boulder right on top. Seriously, that didn't actually kill them. Okay. Frosted tree nut. Spiked iron ball hammer. Hmm. Well, I can find sturdy, thick sticks almost anywhere, so. Hip. has not helped me find the geoglyph. Blast it. Well, viewers, um, pretty much run out of time, unfortunately. So, as... Well, as productive as this adventure has been, it's nonetheless not accomplished what I was hoping to accomplish. Which irritates me, but eh, sometimes life is like that. Well, I am not going to give up. I'm going to find that geoglyph eventually. Uh, you know what? No. I'm saying it now. I'm going to find that geoglyph in the next episode. And we are going to finish that particular quest. Yes. 
So thank you very much for watching. Let's play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the next episode, we'll find the geoglyph while escaping from a bear, apparently. Yeah. Cut. I feel like dealing with that right now. So, <clears throat> if there are no more Ursine interruptions, as I was saying, thank you very much for watching. Let's play Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the next episode, we'll find that geoglyph and finish that up. And then probably either head for the next geoglyph or do more of the uh, Zelda rumors at the stables thing. I really want to accomplish both of those things. But yeah, that's the two possibilities for the next episode. And I'll see you then.